What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Before we actually jump into the game, there are some new things in the title screen that went ahead and unlocked, which is extras Accessing here. Accessing the extras section. It looks like, due to our progress in the first episode, we got bonus points now. It seems like things unlocked and it costs bonus points to unlock it. I'm not sure if this might be spoiler stuff. I doubt it. It looks like it might build to the story of the characters itself. So item cost 300, a short movie about Kara, and we got a debut teaser here. Warning, do you want to buy this item? So this is a short movie about, hold on, not yet, about Kara. We also have soundtrack stuff. First mission, we can buy the item. All right, so that's the soundtrack. We can just, we're buying the soundtrack. The more we play the game, we get the soundtrack. That makes sense. We got gallery. Ahead of Connor. And the head of <laughs> Kara. Where's Marcus? Oh, there you are, Marcus! All right, let's go back. I guess we can just get pictures of them. We got magazines here. Interesting stuff to read then. Tech Attic. We already read Tech Attic. I don't think we can buy. Well, it said that we can go back and read it at any point of time. So we can, I guess we can read it in the beginning. And a survey? Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Um. <laughs> Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Um. I don't know. Yes. Are we going to be android lovers? Come on, let's be android lovers. I already do kind of feel for the androids, but I feel like the future is going to be that at some point, probably. Maybe not in ours. Maybe the 30s. Yes, I think I would. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Uh, yeah, most definitely, of course. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Pen and paper. A console, an instrument? Pen and paper? A cell phone? A deserted island? Your cell phone is gonna die because it's not gonna charge. The book would last longer. You could use the book for reading. And then when all shit hits the fan, you could also use the book for... Pages, you can burn the pages if you have to make a fire. You could also use the pages for... Things. You can... Wipe yourself with the pages. An instrument. A console. I'm gonna go with a book. It seems to be a multi-purpose thing. Sure. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? I'm kind of old, so we didn't really have much technology back then, so I kind of... Uh, I don't think so. No. What technology do you most anticipate? Games. Obviously. Androids? Space tourism? Brain-connected devices? What technology do you most anticipate? Flying cars. <laughs> Brain-connected devices. That would be crazy cool. All these answers. What is this? This is so this is so interesting. Androids? It would be really cool to have androids, but it could be also really dangerous. Flying cars could be so let's go with flying cars, sure. Do you believe in God? I don't know. That's a hard question. That is a really hard question. I'm gonna go ahead and just say I don't know because I really don't know. I wanna believe in something. I just don't know what I believe. Would you let an android take care of your children? I think I would. Yeah. I really do think I would, yes. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? <laughs> or more than four hours? I would say probably, friends, we're gamers. Come on. When I don't game and record, I'm always playing MMOs and stuff, so probably more, yeah? If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yes. It's an emergency surgery. 
you either going to die or you're going to let the machine fix you. So yeah, I think I would. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I totally think so. Yes, 100%. Not in our lifetime, I don't think. Do you, seriously, take it in for a second. Do you think this is actually a thing right here, right now? It just ain't out in the populace yet. You know how they they save stuff, friends. You know what I mean? They save stuff for so many years, and then they start doing, dropping more things out. It's almost like a gaming capture card, kind of. Weird way to compare it, but it's like they probably are in the 50 series right now. Who knows? Maybe. Not even, not even that far. But they only drop little bits and pieces per time. You got to get the money to flow, you know? That's kind of how it is. Anyways, yes, I think so, sure. Would you consider having a relationship with a droid that looks like a human? World's analysis, 66% of people said yes. Okay. You think technology could be, become a threat? 70% said yes. Your answer, yes. <laughs> people didn't know what to say here. If you live in a deserted island, you can bring one object, what would it be? A book, only 19%. Oh, you guys would bring an instrument? What are you gonna do with an instrument, though? You can't, like, use it for... I guess it depends if it's a wooden instrument. You can use it to burn, I guess, if you need to. I'm just thinking of survival, yeah? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yes. No, I've said no. I don't feel like we are. We can easily revert back to if we have to. The old ways. Flying cars. <laughs> Nobody wants a fucking flying car. Who gives a hell about flying cars, man? Space tourism, brain-connected devices, and androids. Brain-connected devices would be so cool, too, though. I just want to fly. Friends, sometimes I just want to go to other places, and I kind of wish, like, in a snap of a fingers, I can go, like, a hearth to another place. You know? We can't. And, I, you know, flying on airplanes is rough. But if we had a flying car, that would be cool. You know, it would. Do you believe in God? 29% of people said yes, and 53% said no, and 18% said I don't know. I really don't know. That's a hard question to answer. It really is. Would you let an android take care of your children? 53% said yes. Like, I feel like I really would. 77% said more on the electronics. There's just, come on, we're gamers. Seriously, no one. Barely no one said one hour. Actually, no one said one hour. Emergency operation, would you let Android do it? Yes, definitely. Come on. Easy answer. You think uh, one day you could develop a consciousness? Machines. Yes, I believe so. Okay. Well, that was really interesting. The survey, what was this? Did this unlock? All right, let's look at these videos. I think we should buy things in here, things and stuff. Let's buy the short movie of Kara. Let's see if we can watch it. Can we watch this? The following footage is a prototype running in real time on PlayStation 3. It is a concept only... Okay. What is this? Is this a... Trailer? Maybe? I'm curious. Let's hope it's not spoilery. I can imagine it probably isn't. Kara. Can you hear me? Yes. ID. KPC 897504C. Can you move your head? Your eyes now. Cervical and optical animation checked. Now give me your initialization text. Hello. I'm the third generation AX400 Android. I can look after your house, do the cooking, mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I'm equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Kara. My name is Kara. 
Initialization and memorization checked. Now, can you move your arms? Upper limb connection checked. Now say something in German. Ich bin eine AX400 Android dritter Generation, erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und intimer Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400, conçu pour être votre assistante personnelle et votre partenaire intime. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Locomotion checked. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. Oh, I see. I... I thought... You thought? What did you think? I thought... I was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective model. Disassemble and check the required components. You're disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a defective piece or a software problem no, somewhere. No, no, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is all right. I answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm going to have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop, will you please? Stop! I want to live. I'm begging you. Whoa. Go and join the others. Stay in line, okay? I don't want any trouble. Thanks. Completely alive. I was thinking that it was like the first android ever, but no. Maybe that's the most advanced of the Kara models, basically. Oh, my heart hurts. It really does, the way she was talking. 
that was so good. We need to buy more of these, please? Most definitely. Because that just built onto the lore itself. I'm happy we checked it out. I was really timid because spoilers and such. That was really, really interesting. Debut teaser? We can't buy that yet. Wow. What the hell? 2013? Short movie Akira in 2013. Maybe it's 2030 something right now. So this was made in 2013. Her. That Kara. So maybe in the beginning, kind of the first droids itself had so much self-aware. Oh. Oh, we can buy this, the debut trailer. Should we get that now? Is there other videos? Meet Kara, Marcus, and Connor. I wonder if we should hold off on this. I want to hold off on this one itself. Because this is a trailer of the game. And sometimes when you watch trailers... So this is like a short movie of her kind of introduction to Kara itself. This one is a debut trailer. We'll hold off on it, but we did buy it. We're going to hold off for now because... I don't know if this is going to be spoiler stuff. I know when you watch trailers of things, they may lead to spoilers. So let me know if this is okay to actually watch right now. So we don't spoil anything. That was so cool. Let's actually get to the game? How you doing today? No name, lady? Welcome back. Bring, oh, we gotta bring Todd a beer again. I'm gonna fuck that beer out this time, Todd. You're shit out of luck, man. So, it seems like this game is similar to... The only game that I've played that is similar to it is The Walking Dead, where sometimes you can't really save. It just goes to checkpoints or auto-saves. So sometimes we might have to actually redo a little bit of things, like tiny things, but that's okay. Or stuff that I did in the previous episode. Catch up just a little bit. All right, let's open... And give Todd a beer. What else do they have in there? Todd, oh, she got some good shit in there. I'm so happy we watched that video on Kara because I, you know, I look a lot, like I feel a lot different about it now. We know a bit more. Put down. Hey, Todd, you want this beer? I'm gonna put it right on your fucking shoe. Watch the game. So the queue. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'll get back to work. I just want to look at the TV. So the queue is something to definitely hold in. I didn't notice it in the first episode until we seen the gentleman singing. Because the whole scene in the very beginning, there was a queue on the guy, and I didn't realize you actually had to hold it in. It no, you just learn things. Turn on. Activate vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. Collect the trash. Todd, let me watch TV. Got a problem with that? Oh, now that is a cool vacuum cleaner. We got her. <laughs> Alice! Jump on it and ride it. Alice! You better stop that right now! Let her play with it. Why is she always pushing me? She's not doing anything to you. Let's clean up this garbage. Collect trash in trash bin. Oh, we gotta pick up the bin first. Alice, you alright? Don't worry about Todd. He's kind of a kind of a rough guy. He is your dad, I guess. Maybe he's got some redeeming features. At some point, maybe? <laughs> Not right now, obviously. Hey, Alice. Okay? What's that? Oh, we can read! Uh, yes, please. Android Power. Should it be outlawed? Football Frenzy. The latest transfer speculation. Actually, if you think about it, you watch sports and stuff. They get injured a lot. Everyone's home team. You're always like, fuck, we got more injured. We're hit with the injury bug again. But droids don't really get injured. So that would be a good thing, probably. All right, page one. 
In the third game of the season, Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile per hour mark. Holy shit. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation. They come to dominate team strategy. Every draft seems the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records purchase these latest droid models. But is the game suffering? I don't know. I don't think it would be. But, I mean, you probably would eventually get replaced by them. Jenny Waterfield, head of Fanzine Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. I can see, like, maybe putting some on there. Keeping it fresh. But a whole team of droids, they'd be so good. But then again, that would be really, you would see, like, some of the best games ever. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. The game can only survive by evolving. Next, please. Sentry connecting the dots. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. Politics in focus, are American senators really corrupt? <laughs> Is that a question? I think you answered your own question there. China earthquakes kill 10,000 people. Whoa. Connect the dots. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. The new Subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours, less than half the five hour flight time. The top speed of 1,800 miles per hour was made possible because the two travels through a depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motor. For computers, this raises the tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. Literally, you work at the, you work in New York and then boop, back to California, back to bed. Gotta be in bed by five. California's property markets are reaching suburban prices have skyrocketed 64%. LA Realtor Charlene Lowe says she knows where the new buyers are coming from. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep that NYC salary, wish list, enjoying a LA lifestyle. And they're scrambling over each other to take advantage. Real estate isn't the only thing shaking up. School places are rapidly filling and suburban retailers are racking up prices in anticipation of all the New York dollars flooding in. Long-time Californians are expected to be pushed out. Oh, what the hell was that? Did we just get hit by the vacuum? Long-time Californians are expected to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one angry demonstrator put it, first Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. When's it going to end? So that's where it originated from, probably. Detroit and New York's really profiting off of this stuff now. Well, that would be that then. Let's exit. Cool. Really good to know. Hey, Todd, how are you? Hey, Alice. We already read that, though. Why is it there again? Is it going to stay there? All right, page one. We read. Connecting the dots, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we read it all. Sports. This is weird that it stays on there. Okay. Yeah, we wrote it all. Let's keep looking around here. Let's see. Trash bin. Check the backyard's optionable tasks. Let's go check the backyard then. Should we be cleaning up first though? Let's go to the backyard. This is fucking dirty in here. We'll shut the backyard. The urgent task was to clean. <laughs> He's gonna be pissed. Take down the laundry. Oh, take down the laundry. I get it. You hear that? Nothing over there. 
I really do think we should probably have cleaned up first before coming out. But that's fine. What's over here? The little books that we can read is interesting. Look. Anyone home? Another droid over there cleaning. Alright, it looks like it got us getting this bin. I'm taking a close in. Maybe. Wash the laundry. I want to talk to Alice though. You? Know? Weather, school, school. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Backyard school. Yeah, how's school going? Aren't you going to school today? She'll talk at her pace. I feel like. Rewash the laundry. Alright, Carl, let's go rewash the laundry. It needs to. Let's just fucking toss it. Toss Todd shit in the dumpster. <laughs> you think the laundry machine works? Put down. Take. is that? Hydrochloric acid? Oh! Red ice? You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. and leave it around. What do you got it in there for? Is there a reason why it's in laundry detergent? Make it more potent, maybe? What the hell? Todd, I'm starting to think that uh, Kara didn't actually get hit by a car. Unless it was Todd's car repeatedly running her over. Because Todd... Our suspicions about Todd is definitely right here. For sure. Hey, Todd, you want another beer? Let's get the trash can, and then go around and start cleaning stuff up here. Clean kitchen, clean counter, clean coffee table. All right. Right here. He's just leaving pizza boxes just... Completely piled up. Clean counter. Kitchen looks good now, Cora. You really do a great job. Collect. We clean the counter, friends. This bag of trash here. Probably have to take it out. Can we talk to you? Hey, Alice. She's looking at something. Is it a picture you drew, maybe? Maybe a picture... Oh, it's... She's looking at an iPad or something. It's... More or less... Okay, it looks like... 
Someone wearing a dress. Possibly on a stage. And look, it's got cards above it. If you drew that, you're really great drawler. Like a princess, possibly. You got the cards, like there's a spade, maybe? Oh. Nothing over here. See that over there on the wall? Oh, it's red, so we can't go upstairs. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I need to... Forbidden Todd is watching TV. <laughs> hey, Todd, I need to get this trash here. Somehow. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to get that, Todd? Collect. Let me go ahead and get this garbage. Round up. Sure. Let's pick it up. Take out the trash. Whoa. Credit card application form? Application rejected. Invoice. Overdrawn account notice. Pass due. God, you got a... That's the electric company then. Gas. How did you afford a droid? How did he afford a droid then? Application rejected. Oh, God. To the street. Why do I feel like something's gonna happen here? Urgent task. Took out the trash. Hey, who are you? Good day. Can we actually get on that thing? <laughs> you imagine? Oh, we can. <laughs> okay. Nora. <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> Never read that. Oh, up there. Whoa. That would be interesting and possibly really loud to live under. You gotta figure because they're gonna expand that. It's gonna go over the house basically. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Can we actually walk this way? I think we can not. <laughs> I, was say, I think we can not. Let's see what we got to do next. I'm sure he's got more work for us. Fuck, man. Or to Todd. All right, Todd. Oh no, he isn't. Was he lighting up over there? In front of his daughter? Who the fuck does some shit like that? a fucking headache. Speak for yourself. Let's go around. He's just tweaking up right in front of his damn daughter. That's so disgusting. Finish the first floor, Todd. Let me just see if there's anything else. There's that book still over there. Oh, hold on. Tidy. See if there's anything else. That book's still over there. I think it's gonna stay there. Like that. Should we go back out back? Oh, we can't. Alright, Todd, I'm done. I made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me.
We're gonna sit here. Oh my word, friends. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> hey, we need to get, you need to, I don't even know. Something needs to happen. You shouldn't see this. Boy. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Alice is warm. I mean, she's warming up to us. Good. She'll talk to us when she's ready. Todd, on the other hand, he's just gonna keep on tweaking out over there. Head upstairs. This was just the same stuff. Alright, let's head upstairs. There's toys on the stairs. Gotta get them. No. I can't believe he's tweaking in front of his daughter. Oh my lord. Should we go over here? Urgent task. Optional is clean the bathroom. Let's clean the bathroom first. Tidy. Arrange bottles. Mop the floor. Let's tidy the bottles up. Mop. We can look at ourselves. Cora, I think... I just feel like you might be too good for the situation here. And Alice is too. We need to... I feel like we should take Alice and get the fuck out of here. That's just how I'm feeling. Like, she shouldn't be seeing that. No one should be doing that. In front of their own daughter. Shouldn't even do it, period. Floor's mop. Clean and tidy. Bathroom's so clean you can eat off this floor. You don't even need the five second rule. You can just pick it right up and eat that shit. Open. We'll do Todd's room. Before we start opening doors here. Urgent test. Toddy Alice's room. We'll do Todd's first. Oh my goodness, Todd. More magazines. Read the magazine. All sports, baby. Android quarterback. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. Slam dunk basketball star Gary Gibbons interview. I actually really think this is cool. About the sports. Because I'm... I, I love sports myself, so... American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players. With top tier games still an exclusively human affair. So... The top tier games are only human, so basically the droid helped get them to the Super Bowl or something, and then they can't play. But that may be about the change following Cyberlife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. What the fuck? The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs, to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. Get out of here. Go long! Oop! Thrown from Detroit, threw it all the way up to New York, basically. UB-1000 was revealed at a recent Cyberlife exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while Cyberlife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the Anti-Android Fan Club, sees a sinister aspect. Cyberlife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these revelations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, a LED sporting QB 
might be just around the corner. Anything else? Tech Addict, The Price of Life. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions? Really? What the hell? Space tourism, is Mars your next holiday destination? The quantum magnet that could scrub carbon from the air? Yeah. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of the two pedestrians to hit. Oh my word. So it takes parameters and it does the least terrible thing possible. So the head-on collision might cause a pileup. So instead of doing that, it'll hard right to two people walking their dog and killing them and smashing into the wall. Instead of basically kind of what it means, right? But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Furlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify in this situation the cars imaging systems gather data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. The data is parsed through the public records to determine martial status, employment record, life expectancy. Whoa, there it goes again and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria. Like their contribution to society, we put a premium on lives that will save other lives, the doctor and the nurses. So basically, there's a priority with who lives and who don't live in car accidents. What the hell? That's so crazy. All this may sound very reasonable. It kind of just going to be honest, it doesn't really sound reasonable. But Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgment. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of a human life. But Forlong discusses such claims we want our cars to make the best possible choices and that means acting on a basis of all the information they can gather. The more, the better. Craziness. I think that's wild, if you ask me. I don't know. But can androids... replicate the luck factor? In accidents? Okay, you see a car coming at you, right? And the android's already anticipating fuck. It's definitely going to be an accident. So what? So we have to think about, scan the area, let's think about who lives and who dies, because this might exactly be a messy accident. But what about the split second that you could, like, curve, you know? Or just something by chance, right? What if the person that's about to hit you head on? Okay. Basically is texting or falling asleep at the wheel because of a long day at work and then all of a sudden snap of a finger boom come their sensors like oh shit and they curve back over will the droid take that into consideration probably not so i think you should leave it to as chance yeah urgent task is urgent task is we got urgent task is here let's tidy this stuff up for todd Maybe I'm thinking too too much into it, but I feel like this game in, in general makes you go outside your box and think about things like that. Oh, Todd, I think I found something. What is it? Credit card application form? I think that's what it says. He's trying to get a credit card. He's just got really fucked up credit. I don't think it's going to work out for him. Detroit Crimson Sharks. Window. Shift ventilate. I'll do that. Oh, it's both of them. Gotta hold both. 
Switch on? We can switch on the TV. Should we switch on the TV? Toddy Todd's guitar. Make his bed. Let's <laughs> switch on the TV. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Turn it on right then there. And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for their critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per squad. Debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches or be the first step in making human players obsolete. Cyberlife has announced its willingness to participate in the experiment by providing one specialized model to every team. Now, androids are already used to train players and provide tactical advice for coaches since 2035, but no android player has been permitted to compete so far. So far? Oh, we watched an anime? More cartoon? Saturday morning cartoons. Anybody remember them? I feel like this might be an Easter egg to something. I just don't know what it what it is. Something about a dragon, maybe. Another two hundred twenty-five thousand jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to thirty-seven point three. Damn. Okay. Or is just flickering through. Todd's watching hockey. We are. He wouldn't let us watch it down there. We're watching up here. <laughs> Screw you, Todd. I'll watch my own damn hockey in your bedroom. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new cyber life plant near Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. Oh, I guess you were done, Kara. Make bed clean mess. Tidy fucking bag of chips. on there? I wonder what they are. Well, we made the bed. Can we look at... Oh, we can. What are they for, though? Medication warning. Contains... Damn, I couldn't read it. Oh, there's a gun. You've unlocked a dialogue or action often beneficial. Last episode as well, I did miss a dialogue option, but I, I, I knew it, and we, I discussed it when we got to Marcus's little mission. But we need to be aware of when the lock things come up. So now we have something there. It'll unlock some kind of dialogue with Todd, probably. Tidy Alice's room now. Let's go tidy Alice's room. Watch it. Hey, man. Clean the restroom? He just took a shit in there, probably. I'm gonna go clean it. Oh, you really are gonna go clean that toilet. Alice and Cora, Todd does not deserve you. Any of you ladies. 
I'm gonna just make sure there's nothing more in here. Bathroom was good. Can we look outside? Them medications. You gotta read them really quick, some things. I just wanna tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Just two minutes. That's all we need. Make your bed at the window. We got take. You gonna go through her stuff? I don't know about that. Right in front of her. Look. Seems a good book you collection. like reading. Something on the floor, yeah. Thank you. You don't need paper. They're all right on your wall. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Can we talk to you? She really loves that fox. Look. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Alice? Alice in Wonderland, of course. Guess we can make the bed. Nothing in there. Let's ventilate it first. And then we'll make the bed. What that unlock? Sneaking out or something? Really? Seems to be really young to be sneaking out, though. Or maybe an ex escape route? If something happens? Well, Todd's got a gun in there. Oh. Things are gonna. Things are gonna get interesting, aren't they? I just know it. Let's talk to her. Shit. Friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Name? Seem quiet, mother. Your father said you chose my name. Kara? It's nice. How did you choose it? Leave alone, mother. Seem quiet. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I don't want to say anything about the mother because I feel like that's like. That could. Path unlocked. Oh, we just unlocked something. The mother's not here. Something happened to the mother. I feel like just coming out and saying that could be really forward. And it might hurt her. Nothing else. I kind of want to look in her little clubhouse. She's got Christmas lights in there. That's so cool. Ask Todd for new instructions. Hey, fuck you, Todd. AW treasures. AW treasures. Alice something treasures. There's the mom. That's the bit. Or leave clover. Todd, Alice younger, and then the mom. Maybe there's a reason why Todd's doing drugs and being a drug dealer. He's gotta be a drug dealer, too. What is that? Is that the mom? With a head bleeding? 
Todd killed the mother. Maybe. Maybe he killed the mother and the droid at the same time. Yeah. Or... There's Todd and her. That was her, so she had a, an injury then. Alice. Todd with a frown. There's Todd. There's us. Has to be. Alice. Oh, there's the arms and the head's gone. She threw the arms and the head and she's crying. For us. Todd just ripped our fucking head off and arms? Oh, this is serious. This is getting really intense. What a unique game. Really loving it so far. Is there a way to look at codexes or anything like that? We got the flow chart. We got the flow chart here. Oh. We're literally at the end. Have to be. Maybe we should let's let's finish it. Let's go. Let's just go. I don't want to. I don't want to break it up because I'm. I'm just so interested to know what's going on here. We'll go ask Todd for more. It looks like we almost 100 percent of this. We should have 100 percent the last one. We should have stared at the hot dog vendor. Damn it. Excuse me, Todd. Anyone home? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? What are you doing? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. What the hell? Well, that was it. <laughs> We got a lot done in the flowchart. We really did. Let's check it all out. I think we got everything done. 100%! Welcome home! Join Todd. Read Android Power. Read Connecting the Dots. Wait, what is this other stuff we have here? Tab? 51%? Oh, friend stats! Friend stats? 99% cleaned his room. Everyone loves cleaning Todd's room. We disturbed Todd. Oh. He didn't like that. Everything matters, does it? That really worries me. Because, the, like I said, the first episode, we missed that unlock thing. I don't know what I was thinking. Because I wasn't really looking at the unlock itself. I was kind of reading what it was saying. And I felt like... The options that I picked, the ones that just sounded better than, because I just wasn't paying attention to the lock button. So we need to make sure we hit all the lock options here, for sure. Tidy pills. We did tidy his pills. Kara seeds gun. Kara discovers a way down. Clean the bathroom. Alice's room. Ventilate the room. Talk to Alice. Alice gives you the key and open lockbox. Finish cleaning. Whoa. All right. Well, let's go forward. Because I don't think we can go back at all. Let's go forward and see if we can get to a save point. November 5th, 2038. 
9.58 a.m. It's probably going to be Marcus again. It sure is. Oh man, my heart just hurts for Kara Alice. Kara, Kara. Welcome home, Marcus. Deposit package. Okay, well, we're not going to deposit the package. We are going to save here. Interesting. This is all just the stories. It's... I don't really have the words to explain it, but it's just really uh, heart-wrenching, obviously. And I just can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see more of our three droids. And we're following all three droids. Marcus, Kara, and Connor. It's like... We are making their stories by our decisions here. And I know I just brought up the whole fact about unlocking the dialogue in the first chapter or the first episode. But what's interesting what's interesting about that in general, because it from an maybe from an RP standpoint, it might be just play the game how you want to play it. You know? If you want to use the unlock, if you read the the options and it doesn't sound appealing, you want to pick something else, it's I feel like it's unique. It might be different for the story itself. In a way, right? Or how you perceive the characters. And I want to take that in consideration here. But I still want to unlock and explore everything I possibly can. Because it's just so damn enjoying just reading the stuff. Taking in everything. I know all we did was clean dishes and stuff. But I loved it. I just love that so much. It was so cool. Next episode we'll explore Marcus's story and then take it from there. But I'm out of here, my friends. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.